everyone my name is bala i am student of fourth grade in stem school and today i will be introducing all of you about the solar system the solar system is a vast orbit which consists of the sun planets stars and satellites first we'll talk about the sun the sun is a huge star it is the it is the big it is the largest thing in our solar system and it is the main source of light and heat to all the planets the sun is gravity cubes all the planets in their orders now we'll talk about the planets there are eight planets there used to be nine planets but now there are only eight so now we'll discuss why there are only eight now in that time there were nine planets and pluto was the last one but now pluto is not a planet but instead it is a dwarf planet so now we will see why pluto is not a planet anymore a few scientists at that time at that at that time is made a new definition to why a planet is a planet the first thing that is that the planet must be spherical and round in shape the second one is it should be orbiting around the sun and the third and final one is it must use its gravity to clear its neighborhood and make so that there are no asteroids and the and dust particles and other dwarf planets in its path Pluto was spherical and round in shape and was orbiting around the sun but it did not use its gravity to clear clean its neighborhood so its neighborhood was full of dust particles asteroids meteors and uh, other planets so Pluto is not a planet anymore but rather a dwarf planet so now we'll talk about the eight planets which are Mercury Venus Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. First planet is Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It is it is the fastest planet in the solar system because it only takes 88 days for it to, for it to complete one revolution around the sun. It's also the smallest planet in the solar system. So, now we'll talk about Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system because it has lots of carbohydrate that traps sunlight in it and makes it very hot. Venus is also known as the morning star and the evening star. Now we'll talk about Mars. Mars is also known as the red planet. It is home to one of the largest dust storms. it and these dust storms can last for months and cover the whole planet now we'll talk about jupiter jupiter is also known as the gas giant gas it is called a gas giant because it is mostly made of gases and uh, there is no place to land on jupiter because it is all made of gas and jupiter is home to one of the strongest and largest storms one of the strongest storms we know is the great big spot it is a large dust storm it is it is called the great great big spot because it looks like that from from uh, from here on earth from for us on earth so now we'll talk about saturn saturn is a very cold planet it is also a unique planet because it has r- rings which are made of ice and dust particles and dust particles and other dust and other pieces of dust it saturn rings orbit 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 the planet saturn now we'll talk about uranus uranus is also a very cold planet it is also a unique planet because instead of going straight like all the other planets uranus go orbits the sun sideways so it's a very unique planet now we'll talk about the last planet that is 
Neptune. Neptune. Neptune is the coldest planet in the solar system. It is a very windy planet, and it is home to one of the strongest and largest storms. So now we'll now this is the eight planets. Even though Pluto is not a planet anymore, we have a little bit of information of Pluto. Pluto too is a unique planet because it has it is it is the only planet that has ice volcanoes, and it has it has some water under the ice. So the sun is not the biggest star. but there but it is a but it looks like it's the biggest because it's the closest to star to the earth stars are very bright and one of the famous stars or like the north star the north star is known as the star to help us get home now we'll talk about satellites satellites sat there are two types of satellites they are communication satellites and weather satellites communication satellites orbit around other planets and send information back to us and now we'll talk about weather satellites weather satellites help us to predict the weather and sometimes help to prepare for natural disasters So now my dear friends this is all about our solar system if you like my video please like thank you have a nice day